Hello, everybody. I'm Ruth Mortimer, Global President at Advertising Week. Now, one of the hottest topics we always get asked about at Advertising Week is how you can use connected TV really effectively. But what if you could go further than just great connected TV marketing and use the results you get as a feedback loop to drive your other marketing channels too? Basically, use it as a research tool to gather the data that improves all your marketing. Well, I'm here for that. Now, this is an area where I also really want to learn. So I'm going to introduce you to our expert today, who's going to be teaching us, Alexa Gutroff, who is the Product Marketing Manager at Mountain. Hi, Alexa. Hey, Ruth. Thanks so much for having me. Excited to be here today. Perfect. And I'm looking forward to learning um, so much from you. Now, everyone watching, please do make a note of all your questions to ask during the chat, as Alexa is now going to tell us how we can use the data and techniques you learn from Connected TV to boost every single aspect of your marketing strategy. Alexa, over to you. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and kick things off. As Ruth mentioned, I'm Alexa and I'm the product marketing manager here at Mountain been at Mountain for about five years and excited to speak to you all today. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the deck. So for today's key takeaway, we're going to look at how you can take the insights from your CTV campaign and apply those learnings across your other channels. From audience insights to creative testing, CTV campaigns work double duty to help you work smarter, not harder. And I think with the holidays fast approaching, this topic couldn't come at a better time as we see a lot of our advertisers testing their strategies now so they can be prepared for their top performing months. We're gonna walk through four main topics today. The first being the learnings you can obtain from CTV. The second being how you can gather deeper insights into your audience. The third being how to make more effective and engaging creative. And lastly, we're gonna walk through what CTV what CTV can teach you about your linear buy. So starting off, Connected TV offers data that linear TV can't. Historically, linear TV has been difficult to run because it requires a lot of research and planning prior to activating your campaign. And then once your campaign is complete, it then becomes difficult to accurately attribute and measure the outcomes of your campaign. That's where CTV comes into play. Starting off with reporting dashboards. With CTV, you can measure, measure the results of your campaign in real time. With hundreds of metrics to report on, these real-time reporting dashboards offer you the ability to be flexible with your CTV campaigns and ultimately make smarter decisions. And if you don't trust the results, look for a CTV provider that's integrated with the measurement platform you do trust, like Google Analytics. With CTV, you can also measure much more accurately and attribute the success of your campaign. So as we discussed, measuring outcomes driven by TV has been difficult. You can't click or tap your TV screen. So CTV uses cross-device attribution to validate that the user who viewed your ad was the same user who actually then took action on your site. And lastly, with auto optimizations, your campaign is automatically optimized towards driving the results you want, like return on ad spend or cost per acquisition. Your campaigns are auto-optimized across thousands of data points per day, making driving results much less manual and time-consuming and ultimately leads to better results. So Connected TV provides a lot of data that can be used beyond the TV screen. These learnings can be applied to social, search, display campaigns, you name it. And this is especially useful in instances where you may not receive the same level of granularity of insights that you can with CTV. So where historically this level of detail and testing has been costly, these testings and results can come at no additional cost to your CTV campaign, so you can put more of your budget into fueling your business. We'll start off with audience insights. So a sophisticated CTV platform should allow for you to target from a large audience pool of third-party data, first-party data, and CRM data. You should also, it should also provide performance information on a granular level so that you can better understand your ideal audience. So with audience segment reporting, you can actually compare the performance tied to each of your audience's individual interest, behaviors, intents, and other more nuanced attributes, informing more effective ways for you to test, learn, and optimize your CTV campaigns. You're able to report on metrics by audience segments such as visit rate, conversion rate, ROAS, and cost per acquisition. Something we always recommend for our clients 
is to start off with the large audience selection and let the results from the audience segment reporting help you in really narrowing down your target audience so you can really hone in on those audiences with higher conversion rates. So what can you use this data for? You can use it to cut underperforming segments, refine your audience strategy, leverage the data to test new segments and support audience refreshes. So our clients will then take this data and apply it to their other channels outside of just CTV where this level of detail isn't provided, empowering them to drive better performance across their other efforts. Other platforms that don't provide this level of detail may cause you to spend on underperforming audiences. And these insights from CTV can help you to better prioritize your budget. Next up, test your creative. Refreshing and testing your creative is extremely important for driving continued growth. A-B test results can steer your overall creative direction by helping you understand which creative spots align better with your target audience. For example, does this 15 second spot or 13 second spot perform better? Does this animation perform better than this one? Things like that. So with real-time reporting, you're able to see what's working and what's not as you plan your next round of creatives. Again, you can report down to metrics like conversion rate, visit rate, ROAS, and cost for acquisition. So what are some of the best practices when it comes to A-B testing? One, keep it focused. Only test one variable so you can properly measure the effect. Two, set your expectations. Identify what you're testing and what you expect the outcome to be. Three, patience is key. It may take time to reach st statistical significance, so give your campaign time to perform. And lastly, reporting makes the difference. A-B testing is all about the numbers, so make sure you have a platform that gives you detailed reporting. And then in terms of a testing schedule, something we typically recommend is to test your creative on a quarterly cadence and assess that performance every 30 days across metrics like visit rates, conversion rates, CPA targets, and ROAS. So on month one, test your creative. Month two, make iterations and optimizations. And month three, implement new creative and test this against some of the better performing legacy creatives. So typically we see anywhere from a three to 15% improvement in our advertisers target goal when they're effectively testing their creative. One of our clients, the Atlanta Hawks was able to improve their performance by constantly refreshing and testing their creative to message users with timely information about their schedule. This led to them getting a 7X ROAS with their CTV campaign, and this ability to measure these results in a real-time reporting dashboard allowed for them to make better strategy decisions. But not only can you use this data for CTV, you can also use this data so you can prioritize top performing creatives across your other platforms. This is a great way to test before spending on linear TV, so you won't waste impressions on a less effective creative. The efficiencies created by being able to test audiences and creative within the same platform allow you to move faster and smarter, not just with CTV, but across all your efforts. Learn which creatives work best for which specific audiences, use these insights to fuel future creative ideation, and maximize the use of highly targetable social channels. Additionally, your business objectives will shift and as such, so will your audience and creative strategy. So being able to test which strategies work for these varying objectives all in one place allows for you to make much more, allows for you to much more accurately compare your results. So by tapping into these testing capabilities, another one of our clients, CampSpot, was able to decrease their cost for acquisition by 30% and drive a 225% higher ROAS. Sharing the data from their success to their other channels, they are able to see improved performance across the board. All right, so the last set of learnings we're gonna talk about today are gonna to be the insights you can get from network level reporting. So Connected TV's network reporting can help you hack your linear TV spend. With linear TV, you target your audience based on which networks they are watching. So this typically means you have to do extensive research into who your target demographic is, and then what percentage of that audience watches which networks. This can be both timely and costly. But with CTV, you can take an audience first approach, allowing you to use third party, first party, and CRM data to build an audience with a propensity to purchase from your brand. You then have the ability to report on which networks are driving the best performance within that target audience. So with the TV network report, you can see metrics like, again, total spend, conversion rate, average order value, ROAS, and cost per visit by network. And you can then apply these learnings to your linear TV campaigns. 
Connected TV gives you the tools you need to hack your other channels and make the most out of each impression. Ultimately, the more data you can receive from your campaigns, the more success you can drive from your business. And CTV allows for you to do just that. So I wanted to keep everything short and sweet for today. So to wrap things up, we're gonna review some of the key takeaways. The biggest one being that CTV can offer valuable insights from your overall advertising strategy, from real-time reporting dashboards to performance attribution and auto optimization by KPI. Secondly, audience segment reporting gets specific, informing advertisers which audiences perform the best so that they can prioritize those targets across platforms. Thirdly, A-B testing gives you valuable insights into what, which creative works best and how to iterate moving forward. And lastly, that you can use your network reporting from your CTV campaign to build your linear TV strategy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass it back to Ruth for her to walk us through some of the questions that you all have been sending in. Hey, okay, great. So I've been um, keeping a note of some of the questions that the audience have been sending on the chat or by DM. Um, and the first one I wanted to ask you, um, Alexa, is if you're already running campaigns across other channels and you want to launch on connected TV, can you just apply your same audiences to a CTV campaign? Yeah, so you absolutely can. However, I always recommend building as large as an audience as possible for your CTV campaign and then using the audiences from, and then using the insights from something like audience segment reporting to decide how to narrow in on those audiences most likely to convert. And then since these learnings are so data rich, you can instead apply these learnings to your other channels where you're not getting this level of granularity. Okay, makes sense. And um, if you've got, how does the A-B testing work on CTV and what kind of results can you actually see on your dashboard? Because I always, I'm never quite clear what you can actually see on your dashboard. Yeah, so with Mountain specifically, you can A-B test by running two creatives against each other and you're going to measure the difference in performance. So to do so, you're going to cut, you're going to set custom weighting, probably going to weight them 50-50% so that the creatives being split equally. And from there, you're able to measure which creative drove higher visits, conversions, revenue, all things like that within our reporting dashboard. Okay, makes sense. And someone's asked a great question. It's one of my favorite questions we ever get asked. What should you not do when you're running CTV campaigns? Ooh, that's a good question. I would say in terms of what you should not do, it's really in terms of the tools that you're using for CTV. I think the more that you can test within CTV, the better, but where it gets difficult is sometimes testing can get expensive. You should really look for a CTV advertiser where you can select as many audiences as possible without tons of data fees. And then where you can actually test those audiences and see which ones perform best. Same with creative. Testing can get expensive and finding an, like a CTV provider that can do that at no additional cost to your CTV campaign will allow you just to make smarter decisions. That makes sense. Um, and Tyler has asked, how could he actually track where his CTV ads are running? Is he able to see performance by network? How does it work? Yeah, so again, with Mountain specifically, you're able to leverage the network report to view how many impressions were served to each TV network. And from there, you can see the type of conversion metrics those networks drove. So things like conversion rate, row ads, et cetera. Okay, makes sense. And what kind of um, creative do you think really works well for these kind of campaigns? Is there one that particularly works well across CTV and then other marketing channels? What advice could you give us? Yeah, so creative strategy is going to be really dependent on whatever your objective is and whatever you're trying to achieve. But typically on CTV, we always recommend to have your logo or website present throughout the creative. And then also at the end, have some sort of call to action that's driving them to your site so they can then make a conversion or visit your site from there. And is there a particular call to action that you think works particularly well? Is there one particular call to action that works better than another? Or is it just having that call to action that really matters? It's really just having that call to action and making sure that call to action is driving it to your site and not some third party vendor. Understand. And one of the things you mentioned um, in your presentation was about 
discipline really being really disciplined about how you um do your a b testing can you tell us a little bit more about how important that is yeah so with a b testing specifically and when we're thinking about testing creatives it's really important that you're setting up expectations properly so you actually know what you want from the campaign do I want this creative to drive more visits? Am I expecting more conversions from this creative? And am I then changing maybe some of the products that I'm showing on the page or the call to action, things like that. And whenever you pick um, your creative for CTV, you can also always work back with your CTV provider to kind of figure out what makes the most sense for your strategy and your overall business needs. But the biggest thing is just don't judge the results right away, right? Give it time to actually run and for there to be enough data where you can make an informed decision. That makes sense. Um, and something, I asked something similar earlier, but um, we're getting lots of questions about if people are already running marketing campaigns on other channels and they want to launch on CTV, can they apply those same audiences? Yeah, so... Now, again, I'm going to make this mountain specific, but mountain is super easy to use. It's very similar to what you're already doing with search and social. So selecting audiences is something that you've already seen if you're running a social campaign. These auto optimizations you're used to with your social campaigns, things like that. So you can, of course, apply the learnings that you already have from these other channels and apply them to CTV. But I always recommend because we have this like great level of granularity with our reporting, you can actually like start off with a broad strategy and see what works and test things and change. And maybe what works for, and then what works for CTV, apply it to your other channels and see how that works, especially where you're not seeing specifically like this audience performs with this conversion rate versus this audience. And you can really apply those learnings to your other channels. Great. And we were just talking about what kind of calls to action work really well in the audience fast. How do you see lots of um, call to actions using QR codes? Um, and if so, is there any guidance about how long you should have those or other call to actions on screen? Yeah, so QR codes specifically, I think they're starting to become much more popular. It wasn't something that we saw probably last year as much, but definitely this year we're starting to see it a bit more. And it's definitely an area of opportunity and something that definitely warrants looking into a bit more and seeing how it performs. Something I would recommend with a QR code is A-B test it. Try one without a QR code and try another creative with a QR code and see if there's a difference in performance. Great. And um, someone's asked a question. Uh, Michael has asked this question, and I think this is one I always struggle with when I'm looking at my own marketing campaign, is about attribution. So how do you take the credit for conversions? If someone sees a CTV ad, but then also sees an ad on social media, how do you know to attribute it to CTV? Yeah, so with Mountain, we actually built our own attribution system that's specifically made for TV. Historically, TV over attributes performance, and then this leads for you to not truly understand the power and impact that TV has on the rest of your marketing efforts. So what we do is we actually take out any other visits driven by another marketing channel. So if someone saw your CTV ad, and then they get hit with, and then they decide to go to your website by a paid search ad, let's say, we're not going to take credit for that so that you can really truly understand that the visit that did occur from CTV actually came from CTV and not any of your other efforts. OK, great. And um, someone wanted to know if you have a target audience who are, say, 65 years old plus and your CTV reporting shows a network which is clearly too young for your product, do you then remove it from running in your campaign? Yeah, so to start off with, with CTV, I even recommend don't do age targeting, right? There are tons of other segments that are way more likely to prove out performance based on propensity to buy people who are in market, people who are frequent purchasers, audiences like that, that will probably perform for you much better than age targeting would, like you're used to with some of your other targeting channels. And then we just because one network's not performing as strongly as others, since we're taking this audience first approach, we're just gonna hit your audience wherever they're consuming content. So I wouldn't recommend taking on a network just because there isn't as much traffic coming from one network versus the other. That, make, that makes sense. Um, and you mentioned there about um, kind of experimenting. How much of your time should you spend, 
I guess, experimenting compared to how much of your time should you spend sticking to what you think will work? Yeah, so it's a great question. I think, too, the biggest thing with experimenting is finding a CTV provider that's auto-optimizing your campaigns, because if you're not being auto-optimized and you're having to manually make all these levers to drive performance, you're really not going to have time to test. So first thing is find a CTV provider where you do have this ability to test and you can devote your time towards that. I would say um, it probably depends on your business objective on how long you actually want to test certain things. But ideally, it's always important. Like with creative, we talked about refresh your creative and test it on a quarterly basis so that you can have enough time to like actually see your results. But again, it's going to be so dependent on your business objective on what makes the most sense. Great. And someone's DM me this possibly because they don't want to ask, but they said, can you explain to us what auto optimization is in this context and what that means when you're running your campaigns? Yeah. So with CTV specifically, if you think of auto optimizations, think about um, specifically not having to pull these levers for what time of day is working the best, which networks are working the best, how often I should be hitting these users based on the recency and other metrics like that. So with auto optimizations, you all you have to do is input your budget and goal and the campaign will auto optimize towards whichever performance goal you have, allowing you to have way more time to focus on things like you were talking about, like A-B testing, creative and testing your audiences and improving your overall performance. This is good. I learn something new every time we do this, Alexa. So this is super helpful for me too. And I'd love to know, um, someone has asked, what really differentiates different CTV providers? Could you give us some insights there? Yeah, so a couple of things that really differentiate CTV providers, and I love this question because I will definitely uh, <laughs> do a little bit of selling for on Mountain for everyone here. But something that's big is making sure that your CTV provider first is only serving your TV commercials on an actual TV and not commingling with smaller devices and those lower quality inventory sources and things like that. And then additionally, CTV can be more than just this branding and awareness play that everyone's very used to with linear TV. You can use CTV as an actual performance channel and you can drive results very similar to what you're seeing with search and social. So looking for a CTV provider that's auto optimizing your campaigns towards ROAS or towards CPA, and then also having the ability to report on the success of your campaign in real time will allow you to move at a much quicker place and really kind of build this third performance channel that you can utilize. Makes sense. Now, somebody has asked um, whether you're aware of a particular trend, which is that we're seeing this emergence of storytelling ads, which means that a brand breaks up its narratives into several different segments and it will deliver them in succession during a particular show or channel. Do you know about that? Is it successful? What could you tell us about it? Yeah, so storytelling is a great way to get your message across. Um, for example, some one of the things that we do is we'll start off with that CTV commercial and you'll tell your story on that largest screen on the bite on in the household. And then from there, you can continue to extend that narrative across the other devices. So when someone's not watching TV, they can get your messaging on their phones, on their tablets, on their laptops, wherever they're consuming content. So you're really immersing your audience completely in your messaging and that type of storytelling ability really drives improved performance for us we see it improve in performance by 10x wow okay and do you, are there any particular marketing channels someone's asked that are particularly good at gelling with connected tv like is there is there anything that you see works particularly well across the board yeah, so a lot of our clients, when they run CTV, they actually see their performance from paid search and social both improve from the impact of television and getting their message out on that largest screen. So typically we see this halo effect across paid search and social. And so someone's asked again about the creativity. Is there is there a, should you be thinking across all those three channels when developing creative for any one of them? Yes, you can also, depending on the objectives, you might have different objectives for these different channels that you're running. If you have the same objective across all three of those channels, then of course you can run the same creative and it's going to 
help you hit those goals, but it dep really depends, you know, are you keeping your goals consistent across these channels? Are you looking for different outcomes across these channels? Things like that. I knew you'd have a sensible answer about it being based <laughs> around the actual campaign and discipline, Alexa. Whereas I was like, yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead um, and do this. So, um, Something that people are keen to ask is, is connected TV? Sometimes people think TV in general is really there for bigger businesses. What about smaller businesses? Can it be right for them? Yeah, typically we actually see CTV work really well for these smaller businesses and they really helps our smaller customers grow because of this idea that you have this, the impact and prestige of really showing your brand on the large screen television and also showing it alongside those top tier brands. So now your brand seems like it's on the same level as some of those enterprise clients. So as long as you have a conversion point on your website and you're looking to drive performance, CTV can definitely be a channel that makes sense for everyone. That makes sense. Um, and then um, Michael has asked, you mentioned earlier getting that halo effect um, even though I tried to say, can we do the same campaign for everything? And you were like, don't be mad, Ruth. But we said we see a halo effect. Is this something that you can measure through um, what you're doing at Mountain? Or is it just something that you have to pick up from other channels? Yeah, so we have a direct integration with Google Analytics. So you can see the performance of your CTV campaigns right alongside search and social. And then that gives you the ability to really track the performance driven by all those channels together and really kind of see that impact that CTV has on your other channels. That makes sense. So um, what I'm going to wrap up in a moment. So um, just making a call out for any last questions because they've been coming fairly thick and fast. Lex, it's been challenging my weeding and <laughs> at the same time. I'm definitely not ready for connected TV. Um, so one more thing um, I'd love to know from you is, um, do you think you mentioned some of your clients that are doing really good work and without necessarily having to name anyone names, what strategies do you think they've employed that have been particularly successful? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing, and it's really kind of hard beyond what we've talked about this entire time is continuously testing is going to improve performance, testing your audiences, testing your creative, and not just testing, but refreshing, refresh your audiences, refresh your creative, build different, run multiple campaigns for different objectives and see how that affects your bottom line. This idea of just, just leaving a TV commercial and letting it do its thing for however long you've decided to run TV, you're probably not going to drive like this improved performance as you would if you're gonna be testing those results and applying those learnings to your campaign. And I think what's really important with CTV especially is making sure that you're getting those results in real time so you can be nimble about the way that you decide to then change your strategy and use those results to really change the outcome of your campaign. Great. And one last question from the audience um, before we wrap up here. Um, Dan's asked, what's the kind of typical turnaround time you tend to see between people wanting to try CTV and then actually being able um, to get it on the TV? Yeah, so again, really dependent on CTV provider, but with us, we're a completely self-serve software. So launch your campaign is extremely easy. Like we talked about, all you really have to do is select your audience, put in your creative, put in your budget and goal, and let your campaign auto-optimize towards whichever results you're looking for. And you could do this within, this. you could be up in 24 hours if you have creative ready and all that good stuff. Perfect, well, you heard it here. None of you guys have any excuses. You only need 24 hours. By this time tomorrow, you can all start being experts in connected TV. Thank you so much, Alexa. I thought you made lots of really interesting points. And obviously, the biggest point of all is keep testing. You can't just choose the same thing for every single channel, but you can learn really quickly um, what works and really effectively. And um, make sure you do it always really consistently and with discipline. This was something I definitely picked up, Alexa, that I'm going to be taking back to my own marketing and think about being much more disciplined. Thank you so much for lifting the lid on what you guys are doing um, at Mountain and how Connected TV can really hack and build um, your impact in all those other marketing channels too. All that remains is for me to say thank you. Um, we will be sending out the recording of this for everybody.
anybody. So if there was anything you missed, anything you wanted to see again, that Alexa told you, you'll be able to catch up afterwards. Thank you so much, Alexa.